All restaurants and bars closed their dining rooms today, all part of that effort to stop the spread of the coronavirus. This is our new reality for the time being, and our Mary Mills checked it out. Here on Mass Ave, plenty of places to park, but nowhere to go for sit-down dining. It's the same all over with empty parking lots and restaurants offering carry-out, delivery, and curbside pickup only. Keep everybody safe, you know what I mean? Our lobby is closed at the moment, but you know, we still serve our customers as good as best we can. At the downtown Shapiro's, they should have been seen green today. It's St. Patrick's Day and the uh, corned beef and cabbage. St. Patrick's Day is typically one of the busiest days of the year for Shapiro's. Normally, this place would be jammed with people, but now the restaurant is closed. You can only come here for carryout, and no one knows for how long. And every day, it seems to get worse. There are no meetings, there's no catering, there's no activities. Obviously, you're not supposed to have over 10 people together. Customers here, not just picking up food. I want to support Shapiro's and all of the small businesses. It's going to be harder for the local community to, um, like the smaller businesses and stuff, to, to strive with that because there's so many people that rely on their food tips and stuff for that in the service industry. And it's already kind of a hard industry with wages and, and stuff being the way that it is. Shapiro's has had to lay off a few people. And so have some of the places at City Market where the upstairs dining area is closed and walk-up traffic is down significantly. I would say at least 50%, if not more than that. Cindy Hawkins owns Circle Center Suites and three other places here. And today, for the first time, she had to lay off two people. Heartbreaking. It's, it's, it just makes you sick to your stomach. She plans to rehire them when business picks up, but for now, she's taking things one day at a time. Thank you. Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Well, your heart just goes out to all those employees impacted. The hope, of course, is that bars and in-dining restaurants will be able to reopen in a couple of weeks. Of course, we'll let you know when they do. As you